Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at adding bootstrap icons into a Rails 7 app and sort of how to use these. Now we're going to be covering this in two different ways. One will be using ES Build, which of course allows us to add bootstrap to a new Rails app with a simple command. But assuming you don't have that and you just want to add this into any existing project, I'll also cover how to do this in just a basic Rails app where we use a CDN. Uh, and then we take a look at like how to add the icon into buttons and stuff in case you're not familiar with that. Uh, in terms of the ES build version, effectively all you have to do is run a Rails new command. We'll call this video and we'll say uh, this needs a dash J of ES build and a dash C of bootstrap. So that will go ahead and add ES build and bootstrap for us into the first application. Now, if you just want to use a CDN, we can go ahead and run a Rails new, I'll just call this video two. Uh, and we'll just hit enter on this one. So this is like, if you just have an existing app, you want to add this in, you don't have uh, bootstrap bundled. You just go ahead and run that. Once these two are done, we'll take a look at how to add these real quick. I have to make sure I open the website first. Uh, and basically all you do is you come over to a link that I'll have in the video description. It's icons.getbootstrap.com. And from there, you'll be able to both download the icons as well as search and filter through them. So maybe you want to look for like thumbs up. You can just search for thumbs, find it right here. You can click on one of these and it'll take you to a page where you can get the specific uh, CSS classes that you can use for this if you're using these methods. So to get started, we need to add the bootstrap icons. Now in the case of the ES build application, I'll just go ahead and CD into video. In this one, all we really have to do is run a yarn add for bootstrap dash icons. That'll go ahead and add it to our package. It'll be done just like that. In terms of the basic uh, Rails app, that's just gonna require a CDN. So we just have to add that to our application.html.erb file. We'll take a look at that in a second. So let's focus on this one real quick. Let me make sure I open up the VS code. Uh, I got it right here. Okay, so in the video app, right? So that's this one right here. Uh, we want to generate a controller. We'll say Rails G controller pages home. It'll give us a home page. Uh, let me move this over. Pay no attention to all the RuneScape videos I've been watching. Uh, so that'll generate the homepage. We then want to come over to the video and go into config and routes.rb. Inside of routes.rb, we want to change the git to a root and the slash to a hash. So we have a homepage that we can use. We can then go ahead and close our config, come up to app, views, pages, and home. Now, because this adds bootstrap by default, that's already working for us. Uh, before I forget, I do have to add a gem because, uh, because I'm using Ruby 3.2. So I just have to do a gem for Foreman and GitHub will be the repo for this. Go ahead and run the bundle install command. There we go. That's something you probably don't have to do. That's just an unfortunate quirk of how I'm running things. Uh, but okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and run a bin slash dev to start this server because again, this is using Foreman. This is our ES build server. We can come over to localhost port 3000 now, and that should take us to our home page. Cool. Now for the uh, import maps over here, uh, this one is just going to be the CDN. So for this, we can scroll down a little bit. We can come down to the uh, wherever the uh, installation section is. Let me full screen this going to be right here. So you scroll down to the icons underneath that you'll have the install. You can either run the package manager, download it, or we can grab the CDN. We're going to grab this CDN right here, move this back over. Uh, and then we will come over to our side panel. I'll come up to the uh, basic rails app right here. Video two. come into app views and application.html.erb. We can paste this in wherever we'd like. I'll just paste it in right here. That's our icons. Now, because this is a basic Rails app, we're also going to need to go over to getbootstrap.com so that we can grab the CDN for Bootstrap itself uh, because you do need to have that as well. So we'll just go ahead. We'll copy the CDN via JS Deliver. We'll just paste these in as well. So now we should have three different CDNs in here. So uh, this server is running on localhost port 3000. We'll come over to the other one and we'll just do a Rails S and we'll say this should run on port 3001. Uh, oops, let me CD into video two and then run that Rails S port 3001. And that should be good. So let's come over here, make sure that's working. That should take us to the Rails app. Okay, so now we have both Rails apps running. For the buttons, that's pretty easy. Uh, let's take a look at the icons page over here. Let's come into uh, like this thumbs up page. I'll middle mouse button click it to open it in a new tab. I'll come in here. I'll just copy one of these icons just for the sake of testing. We can then come over here, come into our uh, views and our pages inside of our ES build application. So video app, uh, views, pages, and the homepage. 
we'll come in here. We'll just paste in the thumbs up icon. We can come over to localhost port 3000. So we can see here on port 3000 with ES build, we have this icon working. We can of course search for other ones. We'll try out the lightning one as well, just to make sure that's working. And now we'll take a look at how to do the buttons. So generally when you do a Rails app, you're gonna have a button two. Uh, it'll have some text, like, I don't know, uh, hello. And then it'll have the path it wants to go to. In this case, I'll just use the root path because we don't really have any other routes. Uh, and then we can go ahead and save this real quick just to take a look. That'll create our button. Now you can optionally add a class for a btn btn dash primary, which comes with bootstrap to turn it blue, right? So that's fine, but now how do we add the icon here? You can't really add it into this uh, string in a clean way, uh, but what you can do is actually get rid of the hello string and the comma right here. So it's just a button to the root path. You can leave the class here and then you can just put a do afterwards. And every time we have a do, we of course need a end. And then in here, we can just say test. Go ahead and save that. Now it's the same type of button, but our text is on the inside. So what we could do now is we can grab this thumbs up. We can put this at the top here, right above the test. And now if we refresh, you'll see the icon is inside of that button. So we can say like, I don't know, upvote, right? Save that, go ahead and there you go. You got your upvote button. So this is inside of our ES build application right here, running with our bin slash dev command because it's using Foreman. To do this in our import maps is gonna be a pretty much exactly the same to the point where we can actually just grab this. We can minimize, uh, or we can come over to our side panel, come over to video two, app, views, and let's generate our controller. So we can go ahead and run a Rails G controller, pages home. It'll generate the home page for us. We can then come over to our config and our routes.rb for this one. We can change this one to be a root to the pages controller and the home action. Go ahead and save that. Over here, run a Rails S-P3001 again. And then we should be good to come over to this tab, refresh, that should take us to our home page. We can then come over here. Uh, oops, not to this home. Let me close out of all of these windows actually. Uh, we can come into the uh, home page for this specific application. So video two in my case, app, views, and pages, and the home page. And then again, we can do the same thing. We can grab the uh, thumbs up right here, make sure our CDN is working. We can grab the little lightning bolt if we are so inclined, that works as well. Now let's try to do a bootstrap uh, styled button. For this one, we can just do a link to. Uh, works just the same as the button two would. We can say link to the root path. We'll put some text here that says test and then a comma. So link to test comma root path like that. Save this, that gives us our link. Now we can change this to be a class of btn btn dash primary. So this will allow you to change your link into something that looks like a button. Of course, it'll have slightly different behavior. Uh, you can then do a do block and an end block and we can get rid of this uh, test text right here just like that. And we can in here put the words, I don't know, uh, downvote, right? Save that, that changes it to downvote. Now we can come over to our icons page. We can look for a downvote button like this one. We can click on it, come over here and grab the uh, icon. We can come in here and paste this above the downvote or maybe even below the downvote might look a little bit better. We can come over here and we can refresh. So that seems to be working. But yeah, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. There's also a Discord channel uh, where you can ask comments. Occasionally, I remember it exists, and uh, hopefully, if that happens, I can be of some help. For now, thank you for watching, and hopefully, I will see you in the next video.